Hello everyone, my name is Mubil Shavsan and you are watching me on the YouTube channel Sheen Me. In today's lecture, you will learn how to create a form like this in Goha 11. So first of all, you have to call, click on the sites and in the form section, you can create a form from this scratch. Our funnel builder is loading. So this is our funnel builder. From this section, we can add elements. And from this section, we can style our form. So first of all, we have to add a text in our funnel. For this purpose, you can select text, drag it here and leave it. Copy the text. Control plus C and paste it in this section. Control Shift plus V and we can check its font and font size from this extension which is called what font. The font is placed here and the size is 48 pixel. So we will select its font family from play with here fair display and its font size is 48 and it is in bold so what we will do is select and bold you can manually change its font weight its font weight is 700 so we will add font weight to 700 and change it to center sorry it is on left now we will add custom fields in our form first name last name email phone and message so here is first name last name email and phone sorry You can delete this element and let's drag it to the top. Okay, now let's make it in line. As you can see, our custom fields are in in line. So, in style section, you can turn on in line and we have to add message box message box for message box you have to create and click on add custom field and select multiple line multi line next write message and on the group you can select group info general info and on the platform also write message and click on save i have already created this field so I will just add in in here and also you can see the labels of the custom values sorry custom fields are hidden so I will hide the labels now com comes the styling so For the background, I can make it transparent here. Select this color and set its background background to transparent. And now, as you can see, there is a border in our form, but there is no border in the sample. So, border type we can select none and power is finished we can remove left right padding and corner radius you can see the corner radius of each custom field is 
round so in the fields section you can go to the border and type 45 and select solid but you have to remove its color sorry we have to add 45 in corner, corner radius not in the border so we also have to add a button in our form where we can write send in capital also the corner radius of this button is set to 45 and for the padding we have to usually we have to guess its padding but you can actually find its padding from inspect element now we will click on the button and you can see its padding from here the padding top and padding bottom are 10 and padding left right are 40 so padding top and bottom are 10 and padding, padding left and padding bottom are 40 and its font size is 17 so we will set its font size to 17 and I am checking its color from the eyedropper extension click on it and copy the hexadecimal code and in the background you can paste its color and select wherever you want so our form is ready but there is one thing left in our form as you can see the fields background is transparent and they have a border in it so in fields we will make its background temporary and add a 1px border of a little bit gray color border sorry it was set to transparent but you can so it is now you can see our form is ready and that was all you can preview it from here now as you can see uh, our form is totally ready The custom fields arrangement was not right so I have arranged it in the right way so that's all for today if you are new to my channel please subscribe to my youtube channel and turn on the notifications for the latest updates hope you see in the next lecture bye